The market never sleeps, neither do I. If you are looking for highly educational content on cryptocurrencies and forex analysis, then you are at the right place. Welcome to Carnal Trading. My name is Mahama. I'm the author of the book, The Future of Money and Investment, that has sold over 100,000 copies worldwide. Today, we are doing a multi time frame analysis on ETHUSD. We try to understand the current market environment of ETHUSD, and we'll also be looking for available trading opportunities. So, without wasting any more time, let's jump straight into the chat. I'm all about stacking up my Bitcoin. Cash is the past, got my Bitcoin now. Starting our analysis on Ethereum from the monthly time frame, we have a market that has printed a very interesting price action over the past five years. From 2018 to 2021, the market has created a very interesting price action. This is what the market has created. Uh, a pattern that we call an overextended double pattern. An overextended double pattern looks like this. When we are going to draw it out, it looks like something like this. And anytime you see this pattern forms, you expect the market to do two things. One, first you expect the market to retreat to this level or make a deeper retracement to the neckline. So this is what you expect the market to do anytime you see this pattern. The market will either retrace to this level, bounce to make an all-time high, or it will make a deeper retracement to this level before moving up to make an all-time high. So let's go back to our chart and see how practically we will apply it to our chart. So going back to our chart, these are the two areas we are most interested in. This is the area and this price level. So between these two price levels, that is between $360 to $1,400, this price range is the area we are most interested in on Ethereum. So on our long-term buy, this is where we'll be looking at for prices to get to before we start making our buy orders. And this, take note, this might not even happen this year because each candle of this represents one month. So before the market will even make so much corrections and get here, it might even be over a year or two. So this should be a very long-term target that you are, you are supposed to be watching. So going down on our daily time, oh, sorry, going down on our weekly time frame, Richard, we have a market that is also printing a very interesting price action, similar to what you have in the monthly, but an inverse form. We have a market that is printing an M formation, an overextended M formation rather. And an overextended formation is similar to what you expect on an overextended W formation. After the creation of an ended overextended information, you expect the market to either retrace to this level or also make a deeper retracement to this level. So let's go back to our chart and put it into practice. All right, from what we are seeing currently in our chart, we are we have already broken above this zone here. So the next area we are expecting the market to get to is this area here. And you can see that that area also line up perfectly with this resistance. You know, at first the market came here, couldn't go any higher, it rejected with a week, came here, couldn't go any higher again for breaking out and also collapsing back down again so this area let me draw it out all in the uh, line chart with the line chart okay 
so looking at on the line chart this is the perfect area we are looking at you can see that it line up very well with our m let's go back to the candlesticks so that means in the weekly we expect the market to you trace all the way to this level before making another impulse move down probably to our area of interest for long-term buying in the monthly so also if the market should obey this kind of structure you will see that it will also be revealing what we call a head and shoulder it will be revealing this pattern here To also be creating this head and shoulder pattern let me also show you something very interesting about head and shoulder you see head and shoulder anytime you see the market form head and shoulder you see that this area here is a high this area here will make a higher high and this area here will make a lower high but when you go into your indicator that is your RSI or any of the momentum indicators. You see a divergence. You see the in the instead of the indicator to also make a higher high here. Into the indicator will make a lower high. So you see that the indicator will be moving this way while the market is moving this way. Let me add uh, RSI. Let's see what we have on it. Okay, you see this is our RSI. You can see our RSI is making a lo lower highs. You see, what this one is telling us is that from here, the momentum here, that is the buying pressure here when the market was here, is greater than the when the market was here. And as well as when as we are coming here, if we are unable, if this as we come back to the line if we are able to break the indicator is unable to break this area here and form a high on it but stay low until making a lower highs we will surely exceed that the market will melt down to this level so that is one secret thing about uh, momentum indicators and head and shoulders if you use them together perfectly you always get a good entries Uh, let me remove the indicator let's go back to our chart so this area here is our very interest area from weekly perspective so until the market gets to this area we are not looking to sell the market we are only looking for maybe buy entries in our intraday time frame but when the market gets to this area we are not going to be looking for buy entries we are going to be looking for sell entries so let's go back to uh the daily time frame let's go to the daily time frame and see what is happening just a quick thing if you enjoy the content of this video make sure you leave a like and let me know in the comment section your favorite cryptocurrency your favorite forex pair and other topics you would like me to discuss in my next video and also forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss on the video when I upload it. On the daily time frame, the market has broken an interesting structure here. This low, the market has broken above this low. Also, the market has also broken this trend line. See, the market was testing this trend this trend line one two three four four times and now it has broken above it so as the market has broken above it and you can see that all from all this move to the outside there's one candle that is not related to the move that is this red candle here so that is our liquidity zone so what we are expecting is a retrace to this level then we can be looking for entries on our four hour and below time frame to for a long street to our major target 
in the weekly so we'll be looking to trade the market to take a long trade at this level with our stop loss around here so we're looking to take a long trade that will be a huge even the market gets to this level we will not be interested in any long trade we'll go back to our intraday time frame that is the four hour and below and at that time we'll be looking for a short this is what we'll be looking for we'll be looking for a short position around here to at least this level or here or a deeper huge profit at this level so let's sit down tight and let the market play out as you know the market is not predictive but reactive you have to wait and see what the market will print so that you react to it you don't have to predict what the market is doing you analyze take your analysis sit down quietly let the market play out then you trade according to what the market is printing if you enjoyed this video don't forget to share and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video